Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and we are back above ground on the Hermitcraft server. In fact, we're so far above ground that there's water between us and the ground. We are inside the wireframe, or the leafer frame, I've constructed for my pinball machine mega base, and I gotta say, it is nice to be out of the nether. But you know what? Th this place, this is its own particular you know, type of netherworld here. We've got a really inefficient access way to my temporary storage room. And, you know, there's just a lot of opportunities for improvement around here. I've got this partially finished skeleton spawner. I've got four netherite that I've gathered. And it's just like, you know, I don't have a proper setup for anything really at this point, right? So, like, I was looking at it. And it's like, if I wanted to actually, you know, use this netherite, we need to actually build a furnace. Then we need to put a bucket in it. We need to cook this. And then uh, we need to combine that with some gold ingots and this smithing table here. Which I don't even have a good place in my temporary crafting area to put the smithing table. So we're just going to stack it up on top of the furnace at this point. Like, why not, you know? So, let's see, we got one netherite scrap, two netherite scrap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I should be using my, um, what do you call it, voice? My, my counting voice. One netherite scrap, two netherite scrap, three netherite scrap, four netherite scrap. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, dang it. It ended up, I just am not good at voices. It ended up sounding just like false. Dang it. Ugh. I'm going to workshop that. Wait, that didn't work. So, netherite scrap and gold, does it go in here like that? Or is it more like this? Or is it more like that? Or is it like this? Okay, I'm realizing I really don't know how this works. Does it go like this? Dang it, we need a crafting bench. Okay, so we're just going to open this up here. We're going to get a crafting bench. And then... Boom, netherite ingot. There we go. Now, we can actually create, with that one netherite ingot, we need to combine this probably with, uh, if I had to guess, I think we should probably use our good fortunes with scar fortune pick, because we're going to be using a lot of that in the future. Combine that there, and boom. We have now the best pick possible in the game, unless it needs silk touch. In which case, this is broadly not the best pick. You don't want to use this one. I recommend against it. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean up our mess here and be on our way. Time skip! Up top side, there's some sort of thunderstorm, and Scar is recording something that says we can't sleep. So I decided to take this pickaxe out for a... Oh! Hey, there we go. We are truly having good fortunes with Scar. Thanks for driving me underground, Scar! But yeah, hearing that thunder really made me yearn for the days of my enchanted trident. And it got me thinking, like, I should really hit up Pearl's shop. I'm not sure how many diamonds it's going to cost me to actually replace my old trident. But I am ready to go. We're just going to take this pick out for a trial flight. And then hopefully we can trial flight a new trident soon. Time skip! <sighs> I'm just cooling off here in the pond in front of my model of Elvira's House of Horrors, and I was thinking like, wow, it would be so nice to be able to just use that trident to, you know, just zip out of here. But no, still I don't have any trident. I do have some diamonds, though. I have accumulated without stealing from these pillars. You know, wow. I'm looking at this, it's like, I don't know how long they spent underground, but like, Clearly, I'm doing something wrong, you know, if it takes me that long to get 35 diamonds. Either way, though, I'm not just spending time underground. I spent, like, 11 days in the nether working on that tunnel project. And in the meantime, the whole shopping district here has really sprung up. I have heard the word that Pearlescent Moon's shop is where to go for tridents, though. So, look, let's just take a second, though, and appreciate, like, the way... Pearl uses all these blocks. Like, I think this is a loom. Yeah, this is a loom. I don't even know what that one is. Like, just the attention to detail here. There's nothing in those hoppers. But you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe there should be. 
maybe this truck should live on forever in our hearts. So we're just going to leave that totem of undying there as a uh, kind of good luck. It's not littering if it's not trash. You know, if that truck gets hit by a meteor later, it'll come back and it'll temporarily have fire resistance. So, hey, that's nice. Not sure how this all works. Wait. Hmm. Well, hey, it's Pearl's shop, so I guess we Pearl to get in. That's fun. Um, so when I look around here, we've got golden apples, diamonds. I'm guessing everything then would have a little th sign on it. Dragon's Breath, Phantom Membranes. Ooh, those are kind of rare. I love using these as, like, boxes. That's so cool. Um, Hearts of the Sea. Ah, Tridents. Here we are. Whoops, we need to click on the barrel, not the trident. Let's try it on this side. Three diamond blocks for one. Okay, well, I didn't bring three diamond blocks. I brought 35 diamonds. Luckily, though, there's a crafting bench right here, so we don't have to bring our own from home. Although, I also did that, just in case. But, okay, there we go. Let's see. Which of these do we want? Are these all the same enchants? Looks like it. None of them have funny names. I heard Pearl Shop always had funny names for things. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We can always name this ourselves. So I was thinking we would call this a pearlescent spork because it's a combination of pearlescent spoon and fork. But I realized it's actually pearlescent moon. So we'll go with pearlescent mork because I, I was always a fan of mork and Mindy. I used to watch that with my mom when I was very little. Oh, there's a different exit. I like that. So... Wow, this shop is really designed to get you out the door as quick as possible. They're like, we're going to make you go through whatever this is to get in. But on your way out, just shove you out the front door. Okay, well, that's great. Either way, we now have one of these. And so we can just... Oh, okay. That is... I think we might need to stop by Impulses and maybe get some other enchantments. Uh, because that is not ideal. Yeah, let's go get some Riptide. Tide skip! So here we are in Impulse SV's uh, Riptide pod here. So we're just going to pay two diamonds for this book. And combine that with that. Okay, let's try this again. This time, ooh, I love that this dock is so convenient. Good job, Impulse. Your shop understands the needs of the people. <gasps> Woo! There we are. Well, let's go ahead and be on our way. Time skip! As fun as it was flying around with pearlescent mork here, I decided to go back underground and do some more mining. I grabbed a lot of this stuff. A lot of this stuff. I don't know where to put it all, like... We're just going to go ahead, blocks of redstone here, blocks of raw gold there. You know, I figure we can grab our cyan shulker box where we're keeping our inordinate amount of wealth and just kind of consolidate some of this stuff down. I don't know, maybe a little. But, yeah, there we go. So we're up to 44 diamonds total. That is feeling pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my stuff out of these boxes and into some of this storage space here that is... Just continuously fill it up. And then I want to do more shopping. So mixed in with all the tough and deep slate, I did grab quite a bit of gravel underground earlier. That's going to help us with concrete as we work on the rest of our builds. But, okay. Let's go ahead. We've got 44 diamonds now. You know, I was talking about how we really want to start reinvesting some. You know, we spent all this time in the nether working on those tunnels, and it was just kind of a grind. And then what happens when we come back to the overworld here? Look at this bed. This is my bedroom, my temporary bedroom underneath my mega base. This is, this is, not, this is not the bedroom of somebody who conquers the nether. This is not the bedroom of somebody who just blasts through ludicrous amounts of basalt, you know, this is, this is kind of sad. What a fantastic day to have our trident back. We've got a nice little rainstorm here that will really let us ride on in 
to Scar's Matador Mattress Store. Now, I've already sent a DM with some requests for, like, my dream bedroom. Because look at these, look at these custom beds that Scar can deliver. They are just gorgeous. But, in the meantime, once again, we're not going to wait for the perfect. We're going to go ahead and find something that'll hold us over, okay? So look at all these beautifully colored mattresses, right? And these, these are all one diamond. So I like these teal mattresses. This is kind of my favorite color. And we are going to go ahead and grab all of those. And I think there were 17. So 12 plus 5. Yep, there were 17. So we have now got all of these diamond uh, colored beds here. I just absolutely love it. And grab that and be on our way. I have been enjoying the sun and the rain, but we need to put the yellow nether tunnel project to bed so I can get paid and move on with my life. Thanks for the bed, Scar. Time skip. Just tap the bed just a little bit there. Having exhausted our entire supply of fancy one diamond per bed beds, I think the only rational thing to do at this point is to go back to the overworld and uh, go buy as many more as we can carry. Hey, Ravager, we're back here at the Matador Mattress Store because if there's one thing that I am realizing, for one thing, well, yeah, this is a terrible, like, fire code thing. This bed should not be blocking access to this viewing gallery. That is a terrible way to lay out a furniture store. But second, I've got an empty shulker box this time. I underestimated how many beds we needed to buy. So now we can bring home as many as we want. Let's go ahead and get some green beds. Boom. Then uh, let's go ahead and grab some gray beds as well. Ooh, those look so soft and comfortable. And let's get some dark green ones too with our remaining six diamonds. I realized if I keep this little uh, puppet thing on my offhand, I can pretend that I'm a puppeteer. I can just kind of hold it up and be like, hello, I am a totem. I, I could be in the Muppet uh, Great Gatsby. It's what preyed on Gatsby in the end. The foul dust that floated in the wake of his dreams. Uh, may, maybe, maybe I should be in Muppet something else. Oh, my dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. How remarkably well you are looking today. But I have received a pipe of what passes for Amontillado. But I have my doubts. Death comes for us all, Oroku Saki. But for you comes something far worse. For your death, she'll be without her. Although I guess Splinter was designed by the, uh, you know, Jim Henson Company. So maybe that, maybe there is just, maybe Muppet Splinter is just Splinter? There is Beef's Portal. We have made it all the way to Beef's Portal. Joe, I'm looking for Quartz, and I've been told you might be the man to talk to. Well, you know, sometimes I'm the man to talk to, sometimes I'm the man to talk at. I can't hear you, though, over all of this quartz I'm throwing. You know, oh, I've wow. just got, like, all of these different quartz blocks of different kinds. Ooh. I've got observers yeah. mixed in here. Man. Like, look at this. Jeez. It's like a That's quartz impressive. festival, you know? Um, I have so smoke. many quartz, they're practically gallons. Oh, wait, you can hold impressive. this button down. <laughs> That's a solid Imperial measurement joke, man. That is that is a solid joke right there. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So I've got a... Whoa, did I just hear a, a fire noise? Hopefully these aren't burning up. I've got basically nine stacks here, plus Ooh. some observers. The uh, quartz oh, blocks man. are probably worth a little bit more, but hopefully that gets okay. you something toward what you need. I saw your video okay. on this project, and it is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Yeah, it's supposed. It's called Total Chaos, Joe, because that's what I'm hoping to incite here. Total Chaos, and you're invited, all the hermits are invited who want to participate, but it should be a chaotic time. Well, I love me once some PvP, thing, so... Once this thing is done. Uh, do you need anything in return for this? You said you might need andesite? Yeah, um, if you have any andesite or any diamonds. I'm trying to buy a bunch of beds to blow up a tunnel in the nether, and they're a diamond per bed, and... Uh, I'm kind of running a little bit low. So so beds, uh, okay. bed diamonds, or andesite would be good. Okay, I can get you some bed diamonds. I don't have any andesite, unfortunately. Um, okay. But let, me, let me pull in my treasure chest. I got quite a few diamonds from mining and stuff here. I'll just give you a couple of these. Oh, there wow. You go. Thank you. More. There you go, Joe. That should definitely that should hold be enough. me over. Woo! That should be enough, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go buy out Scar. 
You know what? Maybe we should turn these sideways so Scar knows which ones are sold out, right? Time skip. <laughs> oh my gosh, Scar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You got me so good that time. Oh my gosh. I'm just... I'm, I'm just over here. How do you make that flash? Are you cycling between multiple skins? Oh, multiple I got hats? a whole set of Joe. Joe, try it on. Try it on. Put it on for yourself. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, Hold on. My inventory is full of nonsense. <laughs> oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, man. That is terrifying. <laughs> wow. Especially when you look up and down. Oh, my gosh. That's great. Yeah, I need the invisibility potion, clearly. Okay. Oh, gosh. Here. Here, <laughs> take it, Joe. Take what? I mean, hold on. I'm still Invisibility gonna... potion. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That sounds yeah, so yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's a decked out creeper. Oh, I love it. Wow. Yeah. I need to uh, maybe take off some of these extra bits of armor here, but... Uh... No. No. Just so you know, um, any of your bed uh, boxes that are sold out, I've turned the bed sideways, so it looks like a minus sign, so you can tell which ones need to be restocked. Uh, oh, you've been buying the beds. That's right. Last night you told me you've been buying the beds. Yeah, I'm using them for the, uh, what do you call it, uh, bed mining in the nether. So I'm just driving oh, up okay. that bill of materials. So when I talk to Vintage Beef about how much that tunnel cost, you know, it's like, hey, maybe throw in a few extra booster packs because I spent 150 diamonds on beds to blow this tunnel. <laughs> 150 diamonds. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I don't even think I need fixing anything at this point. I think I'm just, like, hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> You're just enjoying the creeper. It's just fun. Uh, do you need this back or? Oh my gosh, it's animated. Uh, yeah. Its legs actually move. You yeah. Do okay. Yeah, I have, I have like all I have four of them in a row. So I have like a standing still, a walking, a walking, and exploding. Um, oh, and then you just. So I try to them switch out. them as I move in, certain like if I can, but. I didn't know we could make animated pumpkin models at all. So this is really neat to me. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't know either. I've ha I've been sitting on this for like eight months, too. Well, thank you for the reaction, Joe. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, you're welcome. So there's Vintage Beast Portal right down there, and we have swept through with bed blasts all the way down that whole aisle. Now, I would be a little bit more disappointed about not finding a single bit of ancient debris in that blasting if it wasn't for the fact that we have found so much quartz. We are going to be able to help Cub a ton with his total chaos game and demonstrate that we really appreciate him giving us all those diamonds because this would have taken forever if I had to gather all the diamonds for those beds on my own, you know? And uh, hopefully we can pass some of those savings along to beef, though, you know, not too much. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Doing great. Wow, you got a ton of cards done since last I was here. <laughs> oh, dude, I've been, I've been working hard. I've started on the Hermit cards. I think last time you were here, I was of the B dubs card and now I've got a few uh, a few going. Wow, these are looking spectacular. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been doing a little bit of grinding myself. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I kind of recall at some point you had mentioned folks who helped out toward this project might get some additional booster packs or something when the game launches. Well, I absolutely. I mean it depends on the scope of the help too, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> these mm is going to be highly coveted. <laughs> well, you know, I'm coveting them already. You know, I got to get ahead <laughs> nice. of that. So here, let me show you what I've been working on. Uh, okay. If you come through this portal here, I don't know if you spent a lot of time in the nether recently. Uh, have you seen uh, Tango's new hub project? It's, I, I have seen it and it's gorgeous. Yeah. And so, you know, I was looking at kind of your stairs here and getting uh -huh. to from the hub. And I don't know if you realize yeah. this, but we're kind of neighbors. Did you know that? We are? Yeah. I did not know that. My mega base is, is out this way, too. Same direction from the hub. And so if you don't... Oh, actually, before we go, you might want a safety hat. There's some uh, piglins or whatever over there. I appreciate it. I, yeah. Oh, and you even named it after. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> you know what? You can keep that. I had it fitted just for your head. If I tried to give that Fantastic. to, like, Pearl or whatever, it wouldn't fit her. So, yeah. It'd here. be way too big. I have an extra large head. Oh. Okay. Oh. I didn't even know it was here. Well, you know, this is this is new construction, you know. I nice. started at Tango's Hub, 
and I started building this yellow uh, tunnel out this way. And uh, mm -hmm. if you uh, want to burn a few rockets this way. Oh, this is looking good. Thank you. Scar's There's even a started decorating. Right there. Wow. Yeah, Scar Scar added that. It's on an armor stand. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I thought it was an actual creeper. I feel like Oh, believe me, I this is where my little uh work area is, and every time I come over here I panic. He gets me Yeah, time. no kidding. <laughs> but uh yeah, and then we're just a few uh arches away from the hub. Oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be much more convenient than what I usually do. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah, you need to be careful about that. Uh, if you end up looking for my tunnel, I'm over here in Arch 4. I've got kind okay. of my pinball-themed shooter base, uh, my pinball-themed mega base, so I've got like a shooter right. lane for the uh, tunnel, and then the pinball is at the top with the uh, portal in it. So you can nice. just okay. head down there if you ever need to visit me. But yeah, Definitely. you know, I just figured... I wanted to make sure that we had a good kind of tunnel for our branch here. You know, I've been putting in, you know, probably about two weeks worth of work onto this. Yeah, uh, it seems like it's a lot of work. Yeah, all the blasting and stuff um, to get through the netherrack. I was using those beds mm -hmm. from Scar's uh, shop there, right. so that's about $120 in beds or diamonds and beds alone. You know, yeah. I don't know yeah. how many uh, booster packs, you know, you might think all this is worth, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to get that <laughs> in consideration, you know, for when you do start right. allotting those. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Now, are you going mean, to, I mean, this is, this is all based on the fact that you're going to finish this entire. Well, that was also going to be kind of up to you. Cause here's the thing is I realized when I started putting in all the walls, that when you start crossing over here, like, there's actually portals on the other side of those walls. So it's actually oh, bad for me to put in all the panels right now. I put in this panel here, and then I'm like, well, too bad for that guy, you know? Right. <laughs> so he's going to have to tear it out or whatever. Um, so I've decided to stop putting in the panels, but I am continuing with the arches and the... Um, you know, the glass and the gems, the amethysts or whatever, candles, all the mm. way down. Yeah. All that. Okay. Uh, but it'll probably end up being kind of open air until we start seeing where people actually want to put their tunnels. And then we'll kind of fill gotcha. in the gaps from there long term. Gotcha. Okay. Well, here's the thing. The booster pack, not only are the booster the boosters going to be expensive, but mm. they're also going to be super rare. Because I don't want people just buy and all the cards are there's not like an unlimited number of cards that are going to be put out onto the market. So let's say, let's say 100% you're going to get one of them for free. Mm. Okay. 100% one of them. And then I, I'm most likely going to have um, people lining up to buy the packs at some point because I'll just open it for a specific amount of time. And if you get yours, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. Let's, let's just prioritize. You get head of the line. Ooh. For these booster packs. Ooh. Huh? Head of the line. So you're guaranteed to get one every time. I'll, ha I'll have a guaranteed opportunity to purchase one each time. Exactly. Now... You'll get one for free, 100%. Okay, I love that. Would I be allowed to resell that reservation? Like, let's say that one week Ooh. you're putting out booster packs, and I don't have the cash, and I know Cleo wants to buy one, but she's had bad luck. Could I sell her that reservation? 100%. You could definitely do with it what you will. All right, and in exchange, I'll continue the archways all the mm -hmm. way out to your base, but I'm not going to put in the panels. Uh, I will get yeah, the carpeting in. Does that seem fair? Fair. It is fantastic doing business with you, Beef. Same with you. Thank you. I mean, I was worried about the tunnels because I, I knew <laughs> to this tunnel, and I don't really have a whole lot of time to do that, so I really appreciate you doing this. So, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely helpful. Oh, gladly, gladly. Yeah, we should all have good tunnels in our videos. Even you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> all right, dude, thank you. That's, a, that's amazing. You're welcome. Catch you later, Beef. See you later. Our friend and fellow hermit, I, Jevin, hasn't been able to publish a video lately because of the demands of moving to a new apartment and problems getting his internet hooked up. So Hypno and I were glad to help him with two hours of mountaintop removal. 
three hours would have also been fine. But in the end, it took the three of us four hours to clear this all out. Fortunately, Jev chose to recognize our hard work. So I've got two presents for you each. Woo! Thank you, Ooh, Jeff. Ooh, I like presents. Present number one for each of you is for Ancient Debra. Ooh. Oh. Thank you. And then... Sweet. Your second Aha. present is... Uh, this is your second present. And a second present. Whoa! What is it? Ugh. That is a lot of totems of undying goodness. Yeah, yeah I'll never die My, again. My uh, raid farm makes them in mass quantities. I could probably replace those in like five minutes if I needed to. Gotcha. <laughs> so for real, like I've got more than I'll ever know what to do with. So I'll you get an advancement so with the totem of undying for dying with it, right? I oh, believe yeah. so. Yeah. I'm gonna go kill myself real quick. Have fun, hypno. I'm just gonna slam right back down. Make sure it's Whee! in your offhand. Hey, there you are. I did it. Post mortal. All right, fellas. Thank you so much for all the help. I really appreciate it. Fun hanging out with you guys for the last four hours. You too. I am now fully retotemed thanks to I Jevin and his Jevinerosity. So we look now upon Vintage Beef's portal, and we do so without fear. Not only do we have all the totems we need, but I've actually been able to make great progress on the tunnel here. Now, we don't have the panels in, which is fair game. We discussed that with Beef. Beef doesn't expect that. Is that guy mad at me because I'm not wearing gold? No, I'm wearing gold. Ha ha. Be gone with you. Anyway, we've got the roofing in. We've got the numbers in. We've got the arches. I am feeling absolutely fantastic about this project. I think that the deal that we struck with Beef is going to be very lucrative with uh, long-term returns in our future. Now, as we look at this terrifying sculpture that Scar put here, I do want to make one last little fix this episode. You see this here? This slot yellow 16 here? Well, let me tell you something about this area. This area kind of leads to where the Mesa Tunnel goes. Now, you might be like, Joe, what Mesa Tunnel? What are you talking about? You know? Also, do you really need to fly around like that? You, you got a totem, but you're not immortal. Well, I'm functionally post-mortal, and so we're just going to make peace with that. How do we get back up there? Dang it. Okay. So core concept down this trail here is the tunnel to the sand and mining mesa. And False Symmetry pointed out that this is really something you should be able to get to from the yellow tunnel itself, rather than leaving the yellow tunnel, flying around like a fool for a while, and then coming up here. So, here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to play a little game that everyone loves in Minecraft, called Dig Straight Down. And then we're going to realize we don't know what level the other tunnel is actually supposed to be at. If you know what Y level the yellow tunnel is supposed to be at, please leave a message in the YouTube comment section below. Because, like... It's probably not a good way to do this. Let's go back and maybe dig a tunnel from the tunnel itself. Time skip. So luckily we still have our haste beacon active here. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to dig this way. We've got to dig it until we hit Z66. We're at Z150 right now. So that's not too far. Now there does seem to be some like open space here, but we can just create a casual bridge. You know, I think that I'm going to invite one of the other hermits, somebody who really loves the desert air, to uh, create a proper long-term tunnel here. But for right now, we just want to make sure that we have a nice, flyable space that is usable for day-to-day -day access. Well, folks, we have just left the haste range of the beacon behind, and we are only at Z105. And we need to be at Z66. So let me tell you something that I've learned about Minecraft. It's that sometimes you need to know when to lay your head down and dream. So we're just going to roll in here. Set that like so. Hey! Look at that. Who doesn't have to mine into that chamber? This guy. 
See, you come at a problem well rested, everything just goes a little bit smoother. Let me uh, go ahead and swap out some of the other stuff in my inventory for some more beds real quick. What could go wrong? And there we have it, folks. We now have the perfect portal chamber. See, this here leads back up to the original portal chamber. That's where I dug that hole earlier, so I'd be able to find it. So we can actually just zoom up there real quick. Assuming that I'm not bad at flying. I'm bad at flying. I don't have my wings on. Okay, so let's go ahead and steal that side. We don't need that anymore. Don't need the map. Well, I mean, we do. We're taking this, we're taking this stuff because we need it. So here we are, back down here, at the proper Y level, and light it up. Boom. Nice, elegant find. Okay, so let's actually move this to that side. Put that there, so now people can see where the portal goes. Okay, you just hop right in through here. In theory, this should link up perfectly. It links up perfectly. Okay. I'll take it. So let's go ahead and grab these two ender chests. Let's go ahead and fix the floor a little bit in some places here. Maybe not all of those places, maybe not this place. Clean up the ceiling. Look at that. Boom! That is a success. And here we go. You know, this is only temporary, but we do now have one of the major important things that everybody on the server needs to access connected to the Netherhub network. Some of our more curious viewers may be wondering what happened to all the snow from this mountain here. Isn't Tango working on a big old project where he needs a ton of snow? Well, good news, everyone. I reached out to Tango. We weren't able to coordinate a recording time together, but I told him I could leave him all the snow he might ever need, and in exchange, he just needed to throw a little bit of ancient debris my way. You know, not too much, just, just a little bit. So he offered five ancient debris. I told him, well, you know, I really only need three at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to collect these three fantastic ancient debris here. I got to say, on some level, I was terrified that maybe Scar had hidden another creeper sculpture behind here. But anyway, in exchange, we have left him this fantastic smiling snowman. Whoops. There we go. So that's two and change chests full of uh, snow there. With this three ancient debris and the five I've got otherwise in storage, I should be able to go ahead and revamp some of my tools. We'll upgrade my boots. We'll upgrade my leggings. But you know what? We have had quite the episode. This uh, took about, I don't know, 10 days to record in real time. So I need to cut myself off here and say, you may have noticed that this episode was mid-roll ad-free. That's thanks to Patreon sponsor Winnie T. Ford. In lieu of that mid-roll ad, I will now read a haiku of my own devising. Good times with creepers are no longer limited to when Scar is here. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.